on the front porch on a cool day. Well, cool for Texas. It's only 85 or something out here. We had a gully washer of a rainstorm, thunder, lightning, and all that stuff earlier today. And that was pretty exciting. It was especially exciting since I was driving back from Austin. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay. But anyway, I made it. And I just wanted to talk about this observation I've had with chickens. Do you know chickens have friends? They have good buddies. And I have chickens that when they're raised together, they stick together for the rest of their lives. And chickens raised singly, just one chick at a time, they're, they're loners. Like Pip, Pipsqueak was a loner. Pipsqueak was uh, the only one to hatch, or no, she wasn't. She was the smallest one to hatch. And I kept her and I gave the rest of the chicks away. And she is just a loner. She wanders around all by herself. She, she lives with the flock. She's under the, under the thumb of that rooster, except she gets away from him more often than anybody else. I have Lucy. Lucy was a loner too. Lucy, Lucy I've had for five or six years and she's still a loner. But then I have the Twinkies and the Twinkies were hatched together and raised together and they're about three or four years old and they've just stuck together as a pair all their lives. Even though they have other names, they're called the Twinkies because originally they were called the twins and they look alike and they're best, best friends. Then I have three that I raised this year and they're all different breeds, completely different breeds. And the three chicks were raised together. One of them I hatched and two of them I bought. And that would be uh, Patty and Black Pearl and Daisy. But they were all raised together in the same brooder and then they were raised together outside in the baby pen and they stick together. I call them the party girls. They're still part of the big flock. They still run around with the other chickens. They try and get treats with the other chickens. Of course, they're the bottom of the pecking order because they're new, but they stick together in the yard. The flock will be over on one side of the yard and the party girls will be over on the other side of the yard. And then I have little, um, little raptor that I hatched and he's with two silky chicks that I bought. And these are about, the silky chicks are about three months old and raptor's only about mm, six weeks old. But he's about the same size as the silky chicks and he sticks with them. They all run around together in the baby cage and you know, there's two others in there uh, Freya and Maya that I hatched, who are Swedish flower chickens, and they hang out together on one side, and the other three hang out together on the other side. So who they're raised with becomes their little pals. And I think that actually when you take chickens away from each other, when they're used to having these particular friends, that they miss their friends. That's my conclusion having observed what my flock does. Here's the regular flock, Axel and the Twinkies. There's a Twinkie there. There's a Twinkie there. And Ethel and Fire. They're all eating on one piece of corn. And I threw the other piece of corn to the party girls. And they were over there eating on it until Blue Jay went and took it. Oh, oh, look at that. She took it away. Here comes two of the party girls. Oh, the party girls have deferred to Blue Jay who took their ear of corn. There they are, the party girls. They all hang out together. That's Patty in the front, Black Pearl and Daisy all raised together and they all stick together.
away from the rest of the flock. How funny. And here's Ethel. I don't remember when I got Ethel. She's an older chicken. And also, there's Fire. Fire Rodon. Yes, I have a chicken named Fire Rodon. This is when... Oh, please, dude. This is when the grandsons were into Godzilla. Some of them still are. Here comes Pearl, gonna try for a bite. <laughs> hey, Pearl. Hey, Patty. <laughs> and that would be Axel. While all that was going on, there's Lucy the loner. I don't know if you can even see her. She's underneath the big coop. Hey, Lucy, you missed it. Pip the loner goes outside the fence every day. By herself. Hangs out in the yard in the garden. Then expects me to let her in every night. She got the going out part okay. She just hadn't got the coming in part okay. Or maybe she... Two groups of chickens live in this pen. They're the babies I'm raising. These are uh, Freya and Maya, the Swedish flower chickens, and they're one group, and they've been raised together, and they stick together. And the other group is the two silkies and the weird one that I hatched there. And they stay together. Sun and moon and raptor. And never the twain shall meet even though they live in the same coop. So cute. Uno and Rapunzel. In their little brooder. Rapunzel's here because something's, something's wrong with her. She just kind of walks around and sits for a while. I don't know. Anyway, she's now friends with Uno, which is, Uno is just a baby, about, I don't know, four weeks now. Uno's a cutie. Uno is the only one that hatched in the in the incubator. Isabella in jail. She's in jail because she keeps going through the little crack between the fence and the gate and running around in the street. So she's been consigned to jail. Silkies. Moon and Sun and Raptor is not a silky, but he's part of this little group. These three just stick together because they were raised together. Not hatched together, but raised together. But they seem to be their own little group. This is the fraternity house. The extra roosters, Lucky and Snow. And my grandson's hen started laying eggs before mine did. Look at that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.